I bought a comic book collection and you guys are gonna look at every single book that I picked up. All right, guys, we are gonna get into this collection and this is a great one. And I'm gonna to wanna to hear from you because this is arguably the best collection I've picked up yet this year. I'm not sure, it's very, very close. We're gonna talk price at the end. The seller, my boy Juan, the guy who sold me the collection, he thinks this was the best one of the year. So we'll see. So shout out to Juan for selling the collection. Big shout out to his boy Mikey. And of course, my boy De Butcher from Pressable Defects. He came with me, take a ride. We all met up and went through everything. So. Uh, we're going to get into everything. And again, we are going to do pricing and you guys can evaluate. You tell me what you think. Before we get into all that, you know what to do with the social media, the follows, blah, 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 the likes, subscribe, all that. Okay, boom. We're into it. All right. So uh, I got the message from Juan. He was looking to sell his collection. We were going back and forth talking, just trying to find up. Finally met up. And, you know, I, my boy Jay, he did come with me. And I completely forgot to record. Now, there's two reasons why I forgot. Number one, I really did forget. That's like the ultimate reason. Like, that's why I didn't record. I forgot, right? But even if I had remembered, it was so damn cold out that I was not going to break my phone out and try recording. It just, was, it just wasn't gonna, It just was going to happen. It wasn't going to happen. You know, it's been unseasonably warm in, Nor in New York this year, uh, southern New York, compared to upstate like Buffalo. They're getting blasted in Rochester. But but of course, like multiple times I've gone and bought collections. And if you guys have watched, you've seen, it's been freaking freezing out. So th this was a very, very cold day to the point where we're all looking at books and Jay's like, I'm going to go get in the car because it's cold. <laughs> so I did not record during the actual collection pickup, but good news, I recorded every single book in the collection. We have one short box of raw one long box raw, one short box raw of keys, and then one short box of slabs. We're gonna go through every single book and you guys let me know what you think. So that's it, let's start digging because there's a lot of books to go through. All right, so we're gonna start right here. We have a long box, we have a short box. We have another short box of keys, minor keys, and then a short box of slabs. So let's go, let's start here. So I'll move this over. And we'll go through here. So we're going to pull this out. Uh, that can't be an accurate price point. But all right. We'll have to look at that one. JLA Avengers. I'm going to go through this and really pull some some good stuff out for right now. Though I just want to blow through this so you can see. Teen Titans number one. Pan Superman. Let's see. So, so Secret War. Astonishing X-Men. This is the one you want. Uh, Abigail Brand. That's nice. We'll just pull that aside now. Some of this other stuff, you know, I'll look through. I'll look through later. Uh, I always like finding this book. I always thought this was a deep spec, but I don't know about it anymore. <laughs> I don't think, I don't think it's happening. But Avengers, new Avengers, new Avengers. Oh, I think the Illuminati is number seven, which is not there. Us McFarlane Spidey. We'll just pull this out for now. ASM, ASM, ASM. We'll look all this stuff up later. Some Teen Titans. This is the Jeff Johns. This is a great read. This is just a really, 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 really good read. The Jeff Johns. That's a minor key, I believe. I'll pull it later. No more pulling stuff. Let's see. More Teen Titans. Yeah, this is a nice run. Really nice run. Ultimate Spider-Man. That's a nice book. The Venom stuff's nice with the Ultimate Spider-Man stuff. Let's let's bring it in so you guys can see better. Ultimate Spider-Man, more Ultimate Spider-Man. There's like a Moon Knight Ultimate Spider-Man book that's pretty good. There's some Ultimate the Carnage stuff. Ultimate 6, Ultimate Fantastic Four, what number is that? 1. We want to see like 22 and 23. They're not in there. I didn't really look at this long box too thoroughly. Oh, we have to hope we have to hope we see eight in here. There we go. That's a nice book. That just got hot. I don't know what that's doing there. And another eight. Oh, and another eight. And another eight. Look at that. Everybody's posting those pictures on Instagram right now. So I mean, maybe I will too. I'll join the party. 
Those are all nice. All right, more Batman vs. Superman. I'll tell you, Turner. Ugh, was he good. Some Punisher. Some Garth Ennis Punisher. Some Trouble. So let me just pull a chunk of this out so you guys can see better. What's that? All right, Identity Crisis. More Identity Crisis. Wait, what's this? Oh, Superman. There's Hush. We'll pull the Hush out. It's a nice little run, the Hush run. Also a great read. Jeff Loeb, for you guys who've never read it, read yourself the Hush run. Lethal Protector. Here's Spawn 1. That's direct. 2. Oh, I think he said he had like 1 through 50. Yeah, he did. 1 through 50. I think he's missing like 1 or 2. Not the end of the world. That's the Angela. So one and one and nine are great. So we'll blow through the spawns. Oh, a bunch of issue one hundred covers. I think he said he had all six. One, two, three, four, five, six one hundreds. So that's cool. Sixteen oh two. Some wizard spectacular, amazing. Oh, that's a nice one. Uh, a couple spine tips. That's a that's a hard book to get in a nine eight. Not a, not only is it a thick. Oh, there's a very low grade bullseye. Very low. Very 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 low grade. We'll pull we'll pull a bunch of this stuff out. But you know what to do in the comment section. If you see something that I didn't make note of, you know, leave a comment. There's something in here. Five eighty three. All right. Let's see. All right. So let me. All right, let's do. Let's get to the short box. All right, here we go for the short box. I'm just gonna pull some out first. Six of Swords, a Berserker Two Foil, Sacramento Wolverine One. Ah, uh, this is a great book, but it is beat. This is a very low grade copy. A low grade for a modern. It's probably like a seven five eight zero. That's a nice book that got hot. Some Harley stuff. Harley Joker. Some Supergirl. Some Doomsday Clock. Some modern stuff. Ah, oh, Dark Knight Metal is nice if you have all of them. We'll just put them over there for now. Let's see. DC Rebirth, Rick and Morty. You guys see okay there? Some Batman Superman. Here's, that's a nice book. Deadpool 19. All right. ASM 799. Some variants. 800. Here's a second print of the first... Uh, First Batman who laughs, so that's kind of cool. I like that. Here, we'll pull this one out, too. We'll pull the metal stuff out. Dark Knight Metal of the actual run. Oh, that's another one of the solo issues. That was that was a fun. That was a fun read, the Dark Knight's Metal. And then they kind of just milked it to the... Like, just killed it. Deadpool vs. Carnage. Tech 1000. That's a nice cover. Or Germ, I think. We got Civil War. Man, no complete runs here on anything. Berserker number one. Look, one, two, three. Yeah, no complete run there. This I'll pull out just because it's a sketch cover. I always pull the sketch covers out. Yeah, we'll have fun with that. I don't know what we're going to do, but we'll get an artist on there. Deadpool 51. That's lenticular. Death Metal. Let's pull the Death Metal. What the heck? Why not? This is... Uh, oh, that's number three. It's a little minor key here. First Godspeed. That's just homage. Outcast 1. That book was hot for a minute. Some rocket stuff. This, I think, is a good one. Miles Morales, 18. We'll pull those for now. And I am going to go through again, guys. Spawn kills everyone. Bunch of covers. There you go. Force Awakens. Pretty good book. I think it's the first Ray. Uh, High Republic Adventures, number one. I think some of these books were also... These Star Wars were hot for a minute, too. I'll just pull them. I mean, I, I am going through... back. I am going to go back through these, so... Teen Titans Academy, The Fix. Uh, this is this is a second or third print. Third print, first uh, Black Winter, which was a great read. Six Umbrella Academy, Lethal Protector. You know that's that's a twenty dollar book all day. Venom two. Oh, so hold on. I think we creep. Yeah, here's the Donny Cates stuff. First Codex and all that. We Find them, one one Horizon, Free Comic Book Day, and Free Comic Book Day stuff. And we got a Something is Killing the Children, number one. What print is that? If you guys know what print this is or what book this is, let me know in the comments. Um, all right, let's get to the big keys now and the slabs.
All right, so here's the short box of better keys. When someone rolls up and they have an entire short box of books and top loaders, you're like, all right, this stuff has got to be good. I don't know. I'm not sure about the tape on top of everything, but that's all right. It's still good. It just keeps it from falling out. So let me pull a few books out here. All right, so we have the first Black Cat, which this one is it has a little pen up here, but otherwise looks pretty good. And there is a second one. This is a lower grade one. I don't know, I got to look closer at those. You have the first Tarantula here. Second Punisher, tentatively. Some people don't believe that. That's okay. Second Morbius. ASM 252. First Black Suit tied with the Marvel team up. First Silver Sable. Here's 298. The first McFarland. The Eddie Brock cameo. I think there's the Venom cameo. ASM 36, the 911 issue. Great book to get sketched on in white. All right. Let's let's keep going. They're not all they're all they're not all big big keys like that. All right, we got the inaugural inauguration day special here with 583. I like the ASM 700. I like the Skyline variant better, but the Mosaic one is pretty badass. 796. Here's is this a Del Auto? The Virgin of this is worth a lot. Here's the first Silk. I have a lot of these in 98, and I'm this one does not look like a 98. I got to get it out of here and and like take a closer look. Uh, these were hot for a minute. Animosity 1. I don't know too much about that. This, this is a triple signed book, number to 550. Signed by Perez, Smith, and Bushik. Kurt Bushik, George Perez, RIP, and Tom Smith. So that's a cool one. And, and I think they're all here. Two, three, and four, which is nice. Nice to have the set. Number one being triple signed. You might have to move that one on its own. Uh, I don't really know why this is in here. Here you go. Nice key here. This is a first print, but it is definitely red. You can see the thing about this book, guys, is it is a square. Not only is it a square bound book, it's a hard card stock cover. So when you open it to read it, you're going to get a crease there, which is going to knock this down tremendously. Uh, this is Black Widow number six. I don't know. There you go. Origin of Batman Who Laughs. That's a nice book in a 98. Canto two. Cover A, Issue 1, which is the turtle homage. That's kind of cool. Have to look that one up. First, Electra, but this one is very low grade. You can see on the bottom left corner, tear, newsstand, but look at all that damage. Not a very expensive book like that. This is the death of Electra, and then we've got like these all four of these issues in here, right? One, two, or three of them. Those are always great. Oh, Mark Dark Knight's Metal. Deadpool number one. All right. Deadpool 11. Uh oh, got to take a break and let my dog in real quick. Okay, I let my dog in and we're back. This is real life stuff. Terrible editing, but we're going into it. So this is an interesting one. This is Marvel Spotlight number two. This is the first appearance of Werewolf by Night. A lot of wavy. It is a wavy book. I'm going to assume it's a mid mid grade here. Um, but we're going to send this one out to get graded. There might be some few others. I got a nice big batch for Erod. Deadpool number... What is it? I forgot what number this is. Number one or is it number... No, number 11. Not number one. Oh, the Deadpool Encyclopedia. That's right. First, Whittle Waddle. Here's a nice book. This is a mid-grade. Not going out to be graded, but we'll throw it on the wall at King Con. Sorry, guys. Let me adjust. Let me adjust. That's a little better. All right. Farmhand, number one. Miss Marvel, number one. Um, this one's lost a little bit of its luster. And I don't know if it's going to come back, <laughs> even with the Marvels coming out this year. We'll see. This Now, this is a good one. This is the first Lobo. I have to look really close to see if these are CGC worthy. Redneck, Secret Wars 8. You guys should all know this one. This is a fairly decent copy. This is a really nice copy. I have to look close at that one too. Secret War Book 1. This is the one you want. This is um, First Quake. And this is a difficult book to get in a 9.8 because of that black cover. This one looks pretty... No, there's a couple ticks. Something's Killing Children, number one. I don't know what printing this one is. I'm sure I could look it up inside. I don't think this is number... I don't think this is a first print. I don't remember. Anyway, that's nice. Some more High Republic, number one. That's the variant. Two of them, three of them. Regular High Republic, number one. Another variant. Just a little Silver Age book here. Origin of Cap. Teen Titans, number one. Who's this signed by? Oh, Michael Turner. Jeez, R.I.P. Mike. This oh God was he good. That's pretty cool. That's that's a nice book. Here is the actual first appearance of the Batman Who Laughs. We had the second print earlier. Here's the first print. 
Wait till we get to the slabs. Here you go. First Adam Warlock. This is the best of all of the keys, all the Adam Warlock keys. This one might be going to CGC too. I have to look closely. It does have a little spine split, but that's all right. Uh, Thor 4, Thor 5. This is the first Black Winter. First uh, Totally Awesome Hulk here. We Live 1, We Live 1. I don't know what this book is. I just have to look look in the back. And uh, Astonishing Tale. Here's another Abigail Brand. And uh, Spider-Man Deadpool 1. All right, let's, let's get to the slabs. Let's get to the big books. All right, we're getting into the slabs. And right off the bat, you see a Batman Adventures 12. First appearance of Harley Quinn. I'm actually going to keep this in my PC until I can upgrade. Uh, this is a 9-2 white pages. I didn't even look closely. Yeah, this is dice. I already see a couple spine ticks. So no really room for upgrade on this one. Here's a book that when I do find, it doesn't last long. People love this book. This is a Hero for Hire, number one, first appearance of Luke Cage. Great Bronze Age key here. Like a so absolute solid Bronze Age key that's slightly undervalued. This one is a this is a top tier Bronze Age Marvel book in a 7.5, really respectable grade. Marvel Spotlight 5, first appearance of Ghost Rider. Nice. First Deadpool in a 9.6. And then we've got Mr. Miles Morales. In a 9.6. Never had that in a 9.8. Here's his first uh, t in title here. Miles Morales in 9.0. Great book. First red suit, guys. Daredevil 7 in a 6.0. Again, another really respectable grade. Fantastic Four 52. First Black Panther in a 5.0. Now, I told you, this is where this is where the books are starting to take off compared to what we just looked at. First Gambit. That's a CBCS 9.2. First Magic. CGC 9.2 original cgc label that's the red old label right there this is not uh red as in signed and or what is it yeah with ink on the cover or anything this is the original cgc label they were red and they looked like this and this is a nine four. First morbius in a six o very nice first carnage in a nine six how about first silver age appearance of captain america this is Avengers number four in a 2.5. Very pricey book, even in this grade. Very pricey book. Talk about a pricey book. Amazing Spider-Man annual number one. First appearance of the Sinister Six. Crazy awesome. Square bound, difficult to get in high grade. All right, now from this point on, you can, you can see that book. From this point on, I'm going to look very closely at all these books because they're all CBCS. And if there's any type of room for potential upgrades or even a parallel move to go to CGC, I'm going to spend the money. Um, I'll probably be doing a video on this because I do have a Submariner 1 in a CBCS that we're going to get cleaned and pressed by Erod. Send it out to CGC. So here's our first one. Amazing Spider-Man 129, first appearance of the Punisher. This is coming in at an 8.5. Going to look close because an 8.5 CGC is 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 better and here's the bit here's an awesome one iron fist 14 in a nine six cbcs nine six first saber tooth i would love to get a nine six or better in this in a blue label from cgc so we're probably going to crack this book here's another one we're probably going to crack giant size x-men number one cbcs seven oh uh it almost looks like there's room for a, I don't know about an upgrade, but definitely a pressing. Can you kind of see the waves? Look at Beast, like right in here. Let me see if I can get a good angle for you guys. You could see the waves. You can kind of see the waves. Uh, that is just leaving room for upgrade or at least presenting better. So this one we're going to send out. First time I've ever come across this in any collection. Caliber presents number one. First appearance of the crow. There he is. This is the first appearance of the crow. I want this in a CGC blue label. Uh, even if it drops to a 9.0, I might even be keeping this book. I've never found it. Some of the this is just it's just awesome. I, I might be keeping this as well. This one's definitely going out. This is DC Comics Presents 26. Came back with an 8.5 with that little check mark on it. It presents better than an 8.5. We'll get this cleaned. We'll get this pressed. I would love a 9.0 or better. I'd have to think about keeping this one, too, because it's the first appearance of the Teen Titans, the new Teen Titans, um, Cyborg, Raven, and Starfire. So, I don't know. I'd have to think about that. Amazing Spider-Man 50, first 
Kingpin. This one I'm not sending out to CGC. I'm actually going to keep this the way it is because I felt like 6-0 was a really strong grade. And of course I could be wrong, but I'd hate to send it in and get like a 5-0. So I'm going to keep it in the CBCS 6-0. First Kingpin, classic cover. And this next one I'm going to keep also in the 8-0. Amazing Spider-Man 300, first Venom. You got the newsstand copy. Uh, there are quite a few spine ticks on this book. It's probably every bit of an 8-0. You can see them on the, see, that's the back cover, man. It'll get you every time. Black back cover, and there's like a bunch of spine ticks. So it's probably an 8-0, but I'm also going to check all the graders notes on all these CBCS books to see if there's any potential upgrades. All right, so you just saw everything there was to see in the collection. There's a little bit more money to invest because all those CBCS books, yes, I am going to send, not all of them, some of them, I am going to check the grader's notes and come to the conclusion like, can this get an upgrade or at least remain the same? And Erod, he already knows this is happening. So um, I did want to remind you guys, I didn't even think about talking about this in the beginning of the video. Uh, every auction on Tuesday night that I have on whatnot for the month of March is a giveaway show. There's, uh, I won't be selling anything. They'll be buy it now. So we'll have that wheel going. Of course, every Tuesday from 8.30 to, 9, 8 .30 to 10 o'clock Eastern, but no auctions this month because I'm getting ready for King Con where I will be doing auctions with artists Ryan Brown, Johnny DeJardin, and Mark Morales. But those uh, are at the end of the month of March. More importantly, I need time to get ready for King Con. A lot of pricing. I have to reprice everything. All the slabs are getting repriced from New York Comic Con because the market changes and I want my pricing to be as up to date as possible. So whatnot on Tuesday nights are all giveaway shows to make it easier for me and we give away books. Great news though. If you're looking for auctions from my channel, my whatnot, Thursday nights, my boy Double A will be selling on my channel. So Thursday nights at nine o'clock Eastern. If you're looking for the auction game, that's where it'll be. Tuesday nights for the month of March, all giveaways. Good. We got that done. All right. So you saw every single book. What do you guys think? Was this the best collection so far this year? The seller pretty much thinks so. I go back and forth between this and another one. What did I pay though? At the end of the day, what did I pay? What did I pay? Okay. I paid. I'll give you five seconds. Ready? Five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. This collection cost me $11,000. So it's the most expensive collection I believe I've purchased yet this year, starting on January 1. But was it the best? I don't know. I'm going to leave that up to you guys to debate, and you guys can check out the previous videos from multiple collections already. I have other collections to break down. Yes, we still have boxes to break down from that $400 collection that I didn't even look through. We are going to break that down, and we are going to sell a ton of that stuff on whatnot might have to break that up into multiple auctions because I already have a long box of stuff. Ah, we might do just one marathon on a Friday night. Anyway, I'm rambling. That's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. Hit that thumbs up on your way out. And as always, keep it comics.